Hi, my name is David Colturi. I'm 32 years old from Los Angeles, California. I'm a professional cliff diver living in Europe for the summer. Got some friends together and we're over here in Ibiza diving into the Cave of Light for a special exploratory adventure. So I stay in Austria for the summer. Here we go. Because one, it's convenient to stay in Europe in between the competitions instead of having to fly back to California every time. I kind of have my second home in Austria over the summers. It's, it's absolutely amazing. We are going to Ibiza to explore the Cave of Light, which I'm really stoked about. This beautiful cave along the island um, looks like just a, a hole in the ceiling, and there's a couple different takeoff spots. I think there's a big one 25 meters up, got a clear little ledge over, so you got to lean forward and jump out. Um, but super stoked for this. I mean, this is kind of, this is one of the really exciting parts of cliff diving. All right, we made it to the beach and we're about to hop on the boat. Here we go. Listos? Always listos. Yeah. Get Finally, to the cave. Here we go, Ree. It's going to be pretty sweet. How are you feeling? Super excited. Super. Stoked. Yeah. Here we go. The relationship and the togetherness of the fellow cliff divers has always been amazing. I mean, we really are kind of like a family, traveling together around the world and going to all these different amazing locations, usually for competitions. And so there's so much stress involved and the, the pressure of competition and stuff like that. So to change it up and have this kind of more exploratory, adventurous style of a trip is, is pretty awesome, you know, and we get to share and feed off that energy. We've got a nice small group here with Orlando, Gary, Jonathan, Rhiannon, and Celia. And it's just awesome to, to share this bond, to do this really incredible thing in a way that nobody else would come to the Cave of Light and explore in this way. It's, it's just a cool energy and such an awesome trip to, to be a part of. Looking pretty gnarly. Just got on site after an awesome hike down. Some rocks, some steep stuff. And here we have a takeoff spot. And you can't even quite see it yet, but... The rock moves, Dave. Just don't... Oh, the rock moves. Don't even better. Operate. That one. Yeah. Yeah, that moves. Yeah. But into the abyss Still. is where we're going. Give it a couple more hours and we'll have enough light. Yeah, yeah. But incredible. Look at this. All right, so we're back up at the top. We fixed the takeoff spot, super stable. And now the light's coming out so we can see the flight path. And it's honestly pretty good. Um, sketchy for sure. And you gotta be precise on aiming. Basically angling right here in between these two rocks and hitting out there. I think, honestly, one of the trickiest parts is really just committing to the takeoff because you've got this wall right here and you're not gonna hit it, but you really gotta commit and you're gonna come close. So staring at it and launching out all the way here, giving yourself a full push all the way to clear that ledge and land in the desired spot, getting between these two rocks. Whew. Man. Definitely nerve wracking, but doable. Oh. What do you think, buddy? 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Does look doable, like you said. Did you see? I cannot see anything. Just get that direction right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just up here admiring the view. You, you found a better takeoff spot up there? Yeah. Uh -huh. What a time to be alive, huh? <laughs> right. What do you think, Jenny? Ah, uh, awesome. It looks really nice and scary. Mm -hmm. We're midway down. Uh, this is a 17 meter takeoff into the cave down here. Um, pretty sweet once you start climbing down in and getting closer to the water. Man, the water clarity and the color is just gorgeous. Um, cool takeoff spot here. You still got the wall in front of you. Uh, not gonna hit it, but still kind of tricky with the visuals. Um, but just sweet looking. Guys take off spot. Big ones up there. And yeah. Now we'll get down in the water, do a little depth check, swim around. Start having some fun. Here we go for the first jump. 120 frames for a little slow-mo. Rock and roll, B. Three, two, one, drop it. All right, let's do a quick little depth check. So I guess this is more or less the angle where we're gonna come in. Right and down to about here, hopefully. Yeah. Super deep. When I looked at it from the location check, I was like, all right, we good. I got this. I know I'm jumping out far enough. Got it dialed in my head. And, and you know, thankfully, when you start to talk about these things with the other divers, you get the pragmatism and, and just the, the rational look from all the angles. And so we're all talking like, ah, are we really gonna jump that far? Like, is the line good? Are you clearing it? And, and you know, it's safe and smart to do those things. When I first heard about this place, I uh, was very shocked. I didn't, didn't know if it would be possible. Then I saw photos and it kind of went in the other direction. I, I felt like we could do it. Then coming here, it was such a, a shock and a, a real difficult decision-making process. Gary and I had decided like, okay, yes, we're going for it. Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure that I could bridge the gap and uh, it took myself a lot of convincing. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Just pick that line. Yeah, hit it hard. Stick to the line. Pick the line, hit it hard. And just stay tight, you got this. Woo. Uh, this, this is a new one for me. <laughs> like Gary and I were talking, you know, probably the most dangerous thing we've ever done. Done. Thank you, buddy. Ah, How does it feel? Oh, incredible. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. <laughs> Me too. Three. What's next? Soft ride here into this cave. There we go. This trip felt very special. Um, the fact that we're a small group of divers um, in such a special place. We were just all bouncing off each other, everyone choosing a, diff a different place to dive from. It was a special time. Three, two, one. So many places to dive. This trip will go down in the record books. That was insane. It was a session like no other, something I think we'll all remember for the rest of our lives. And yeah, I mean, this, this location, the Cave of Light here in Ibiza will hold a special place in my heart for a long time.